information regarding uh, an intel source who said that according to the intel source they said that the khalistani groups are allegedly running news of the nijjar killing now gurpreet singh sahota who has been the editor of charti kala and working for has been working for satinder pal gill since 1991 is apparently also working for the intelligence service csis as an agent to draw traffic to the website they have gone ahead with the news of indian involvement supposedly carried out by the diplomats now this piece of information that has come in is indeed uh, quite concerning uh, especially with what exactly has been uh, with the turn of events that have been taking place currently and as we are getting to know that uh, this person uh, Gurpreet Singh Sahota who is the editor of Charti Kala was also working for Satinder Pal Gill since 1991 is apparently also working for the intelligence service CSIS as an agent now as we get into the depths of uh, what is exactly going on between India and Canada we have been seeing a lot of such information coming in uh, wherein uh, India has constantly been in touch with Canada and they have constantly been raising the issue of an anti India propaganda an anti india stance rising in canada by such extremist elements pro khalistani elements and uh, we had been getting information the visuals we are showing you right now is of nijjar who was also as we had uh, said before uh, was also seen training in canada with uh, banned weapons so the, right now the information we are getting is about gurpreet singh sahota and we have abhishek jha joining us on this broadcast abhishek a very good morning to you well this piece of information that comes in what we are learning is this separatist agenda this uh, anti india stance that is being uh, propagated there is a fake narrative being created in canada and these are concerns that have been again and again raised by india to canada while the government still has didn't spoken about it and they haven't addressed this issue these concerns of india and right now what we are what we are learning is the uh, this particular agenda is being propagated to gain more traction so how are we looking at this i uh, think uh, this is clearly now a becoming an issue of for west versus uh, india uh, if it continues to be so because we have seen recently uh, the remarks made by uh, secretary anton milken also who has expressed his, uh, his concern and asked for the investigations to go on and reach to the bottom of it we have seen australian uh, prime minister also uh, expressing concern in the past over the allegation that justin trudeau government has uh, leveled against india so in that context uh, the, the the only important thing is that how soon justin trudeau government is going to share the evidences of his alleged uh, of the alleged links of indian agencies role in the killing of hardeep singh major so far there has been none Uh, we have seen some of the media reports that claims the you know in in canada that there have been some human intelligence and signal intelligence that has been captured by the canadian agencies uh, but what are those intelligence how credible those are how uh, closely they established indian agencies role they are not clear uh, so in in, in that uh, scenario it is it is really difficult for many of the countries in canada to come out in support uh, of canada we have seen uh, british columbia premier also saying that he is frustrated with the kind of allegation that the government has put but not the evidences that has been uh, that is uh, being been given to back up those those claims so it, it, this is very conflicting situation which is now emerging in canadian socio economic uh, socio political sector itself uh, and the trudeau government has now the obligation to substantiate what it claimed uh, and go further on to investigation uh, probably then the the allegations will could be established or the in india's uh, stand uh, on the issue could be cleared Right, Abhishek. Abhishek, uh, thank you for bringing us all those details. Do stay with us, but right now we will take a look at some of the reactions that have come in, in within the story. Let's have a look at that. First, to India, Canada has shared the credible allegations uh, that I talked about on Monday with India. We did that many weeks ago, and we are there to work constructively uh, with India, and we hope that they. Uh, engage with us so that we can get to the bottom of this very serious matter. Uh, we are deeply concerned about the allegations that Prime Minister Trudeau has raised. Um, we have been consulting throughout very closely with uh, with our Canadian colleagues, uh, and not just consulting, uh, coordinating with them on this uh, on this issue. Uh, and uh, from our perspective, it is critical that the Canadian investigation proceed. um and it would be important that um india work with the canadians uh, on this investigation um we want to see uh, 
accountability, um, and um, it's important that the investigation run its course and lead to that uh, to that result. Uh, I'm not going to characterize or otherwise speak to diplomatic conversations that uh, that we've have. Uh, we've we've uh, uh, been engaged um, directly with the Indian government as well. Um, and again, I think uh, the most productive thing that can happen now is um, to see this investigation move forward, be completed, and we would hope that um, uh, our Indian friends would cooperate with that investigation as well. Uh, more broadly, uh, and you've heard me speak to this, um, we are extremely vigilant um, about any instances of um, um, alleged uh, transnational repression, something we take very, very seriously. And I think it's important more broadly for the uh, international system that um, any country uh, that might uh, consider engaging in such acts not, uh, uh, not do so. So it's something that we're, uh, we're also focused on in, um, in a much broader way. Uh, the only briefings uh, that I've been able to receive from CSIS are what are called open information briefings or open source uh, briefings, which is information that's available to the public uh, uh, doing an internet search, uh, which I find frustrating. And, um, and so uh, I can be transparent about that information that I've received. Uh, in terms of the specific incident in Surrey, I was uh, uh, contacted uh, by the Prime Minister. He briefed me uh, about what he was going to say in the Parliament, which he then went on and said. Uh, he offered to me uh, a briefing from CSIS, which, of course, I said, yes, I would like that. We arranged it. We got a briefing from the director, uh, which uh, was, as I say, open source information. Uh, and, then, uh, and then that was it. I expressed my frustration uh, in the meeting with the CSIS director about uh, our inability to get more concrete information about this kind of thing. Uh, and, uh, and I have articulated that uh, to the federal government. I understand there may need to be reform around the act that governs CSIS in order for them to be able to share this information. If that's what's required, let's make it happen. Uh, because the only way that we're going to make traction on this uh, is, uh, is by the federal government trusting the provincial government with information and being able to uh, act on it in our local communities.